Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft class, specifically defensive tackle Andrew Brown out of Virginia. Uh, so this video essentially is going to give him an analytical profile looking at his production data, his athleticism data, to give you somewhat of an idea of what he could become at the next level based on those various uh, statistics and other information. So if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you are not familiar with what solo tackle uh, market share data is or athleticism data like explosive lower body strength score, etc., all those information or terms will be in the description. Uh, so you can check that and uh, get a little bit more inf information about that information there. So first off, when you look at Andrew Brown's uh, production profile, uh, he had a 68.58 uh, solo tackle market share uh, score, 94.26 sack market share score, and 96.21 tackle for loss market share score. Uh, based on my data, which goes back all the way to the 1989 NFL draft class, uh, specifically looking at 3-4 DN types, because that is where a lot of people have projected Andrew Brown to become as sort of a 3-4 DN type. Uh, the only issue he really has is in solo tackle data. His um, sack data is very good. His tackle for loss data is also very good, uh, but his solo tackle data is the only area where he kind of misses the mark in terms of getting into the all pro to pro bowl threshold in terms of his overall data. So not terrible, but definitely a, a bit of a concern just because of the solo tackle data. And then when you get to the averages at the position, so this is what the average score of all pro players are for 3-4 DNs, the average score for pro bowl players, multiple pro bowl players, and the average score for starting uh, players uh, since the 1989 NFL draft class and based on this information here um, as you can clearly see uh, Andrew Brown again the solo tackle data is the only real uh, data point uh, where he is a bit of a concern when it comes to his production data but not only that when you get to his athleticism data uh, he had a good combine but not a great combine I uh, had a 25.21 explosive lower body strength score 60.06 .06 speed score and a 75.84 uh, flexibility uh, score. Uh, based on this information, his dominant traits on, on in terms of his athleticism traits is speed and flexibility or balance. Um, so again, this is a guy that athletically speaking should be able to get from point A to point B a lot faster than other defensive tackles. And on top of that, he's also a guy that should be able to keep his feet and not end up on the ground as much as defensive tackles due to having really good core strength to be able to do those uh, three cone drills and uh, short shoulder drills. So uh, Andrew Brown, again, looks like a pretty decent guy to be a 3-4-D end. Uh, not a elite 3-4-D end. Not a guy that you would consider to be a multiple Pro Bowl type or a multiple All-Pro type. But definitely someone that I think can become a long-term starter. And I think that's the best case scenario for Andrew Brown. So again, based on the production data that he put up and based on the athleticism data, I think there's a very good chance that Andrew Brown can become a starting 3-4-D end. Or starting defensive tackle, but if you are if you have the idea in mind that he's going to be something like a Pro Bowl or All Pro type, it's very less likely based on uh, the overall data. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Now you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.